Hi Sagittarius, welcome back to my channel. This is for the new moon in your sign happening November 23rd. I'm going to do singles at the very um, end of the reading. So if somebody would like to timestamp that, that would be amazing. Also, I'm going to pull Scrabble tiles at the very end. So for those of you that are not interested in the singles, you could just fast forward it back to the Scrabble tiles for your person, um, the person coming towards you, the person you're thinking of coming to the edge and tick tock might be someone or a situation that you're taking a leap of faith in or they're taking a leap of faith towards you all right and two popped out so we're definitely going to take them here is confidence is your key to success new moon in leo that's that leap of faith you're taking bring love into the situation new moon in aquarius all right sagittarius let's see all right they already wanted to fall out we're going to take them as they did all right. all right your energy sun is swords you may be keeping an eye on someone, you know, watching someone from afar. You could have air in your chart, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Possibly even, maybe even deciding to take like a course online to further your education. Something worth networking. But I do feel like they're either there's someone interested you in you and from afar or you're watching someone or you know same thing you're watching each other ace of swords is the current situation so there is going to be a discussion conversation of feelings brand new beginning one that you can go the distance with you can trust breaking free from anything that you felt stuck in, but specifically in love. Take, coming to the edge, you're over feeling stuck. You know the sun is shining somewhere, and you want to be where that energy is. If you see the bird right here, Holy Spirit is with you. So your spirit guides are right there with you as you take the leap of faith, or someone takes a leap of faith towards you. What we're embracing is the energy of you being so happy in your current state, you know, whether you're single and missing someone, but you're still doing your energy, keeping it high, attitude is gratitude, new moon energy, manifesting exactly what you want, put it into existence, talk about it, say it out loud, put it on a piece of paper, burn that piece of paper and bury it into the ground. There's many rituals online, um, online, many rituals on YouTube that you can follow. That's where I got mine. Put it down on a piece of paper of exactly who you want in your life, what type of person, and manifest it. But being happy with your current energy, shining, embracing what you provide for yourself. And there is someone who's interested. Could be a younger water sign. They could have air in their chart. But younger water sign that wants to come towards you. Wants to tell you how they feel. Bottom of the deck is the eight of coins. So this person might be involved within your business. They might come to your place of employment. They could be a co-worker. But it's the dedication of wanting to be in a connection with you of putting the effort in let's see what else oh see there's that leap of faith times two taking that leap of faith they're definitely going to be receiving communication you may even be receiving a gift you might walk out your home and somebody either return somebody you know um they want to like tell you how they feel they want to give you a token of their affection 
this energy of feeling stuck. I feel for some of you that there is somebody returning. They're also feeling that energy. It's like you both are missing one another. Feeling stuck without one another. And now that your energy is high, you've raised your vibration, you're happy with who you are, you're moving forward. You've got balance in your life. And with the weed here, it very well could be coming very soon for you. At least where I'm at, it's the fall. Card of timing may come out when I pull some, but moving forward, ready for this connection. Seeing where there was a blockage, there's somebody coming towards you to talk to you. To clear that path for the two of you to be together. And there's that Sage of Swords. I'm telling you, you are going to receive like a direct message, an email, text message. You might be on a business call where there's like multiple windows open for Zoom. You know, or you know, take it as it resonates and you receive a private message that asking you if you're single and they're interested. They've never met someone so handsome or so beautiful or saw, saw someone so handsome or so beautiful. Yeah, putting the burdens down and taking that leap of faith. You could be um, interested or someone coming towards you that is an earth sign, queen of pentacles. And if you notice, it's a lot of greenery. So it reminds me of the heart chakra. Coming in with their heart open, but coming in balanced. Coming in also in the same energy of being content with what they have. Able to give long term to someone because of what the ESC. There's going to be an abundant offer coming your way. And I feel like for some of you, it's work related because bring confidence into bring confidence is the key to success. It's like you're being noticed for the work you do, for the energy you provide. And I feel like they've been holding out. They want to come towards you and put their plan in motion. Final message. For Sagittarius during the new moon and their sign. All right, we got the chariot twice. Being very strategic, coming towards you. Knowing what they want. Again, taking that leap of faith. Why is the chariot here twice, Spirit? For some of you, they could be in a far from you and needing to travel some distance. But look. Power in reverse. You're moving past obstacles. What's coming your way is divinely guided. There is communication coming. Look, guys. For some of you, it is somebody who's walked away. And they're coming towards you because they feel stuck without communication with you. They want to know how you are. They're afraid time is running out. And I was just reading on like how is this full moon, this new moon going to affect you because it's in your sign. It's like giving you that extra energy to take that leap of faith. So I find it funny that it came out three times. It's giving you that extra push to take that leap of faith towards things that are brand new in your life. Even if it's someone returning, they're coming back in a different energy. Or you would hope that they are. So make sure you do feel out that energy. Like I said, for some of you, you're going to receive that DM, that direct message, that text message, that email. There's going to be, you're being watched from social media. They could be a healthcare provider, but they're going to be that supportive person in your corner. Possible soulmate connection. And look at this. Coming out of a time of a pause and moving towards the light. The warmth, the energy that this person is going to provide in your life and that you provide to them. And for those of you that it is somebody walks away, it's like they're following the light to you. All right, let's see what messages we have. For Sagittarius and the new moon. 
and their sign for 2022 spirit. We incarnate it together to clear specific patterns from our ancestral bloodline. This is incarnating in this lifetime to basically shut the door on repeating cycles from generation to generation of similar situations that, you know, your ancestors have been in that you find yourself in. Closing those chapters out, ending repeating cycles. I've watched you change and grow so much. I'm trying to release my attachment to identity so I can change too. I'm trying to release my attachment to identity so I can change too. I really feel like this is somebody who you've been separated with, watching you progress, feeling like you moved on. And they're going through a change. They're going through their own change, wanting to return. I've been so grounded all my life. It's hard for me to trust the spiritual elements of our connection. Yet, I can't deny they exist. Yeah, they do. And there it is. As you surrender your 3D expectations, as you surrender your 3D expectations, I surrender to our 5D connection. It's just what it said right here. The spiritual connection, they've been so grounded for some of you. And it's now that they're realizing they not only do they connect with you on the 5D when the two of you aren't together, but that this deep spiritual connection really does exist. And they can't deny it. It probably freaked them out. All right, guys. So do check your messages because they're, whether it be a direct message, um, a text, an email, there's somebody watching you and they want to come towards you. They want to communicate with you. For some of you, I feel like someone that you have been separated with, that you've moved on and bettered yourself and they're like trying to catch up, you know, to be enough for you. All right. For those of you that it does resonate, do fast forward through the single part of the reading and then check back with the Scrabble tiles because I'm going to pull those at the very end. And for those of you that are completely single, not looking for anyone to return, not thinking of anyone, do timestamp what um, the reading I'm about to do, and it's for the singles. I'll be right back. All right, Sagittarius, now this is for the singles. We are going to see what's coming towards you in terms of true love. I do kept the already existing cards because, you know, whether you're wanting for someone to return in separation from someone or completely single, these energies are still the same. I feel like there is already love on its way to you. Your confidence is drawing the connection towards, you know, closer towards you. I feel like it's going to be very soon. And I feel like, it, you know, it's going to be this brand new energy that you both take a leap of faith in. I can't remember if I cut these. All right. Your energy feeling very balanced. Almost like a yoga pose. Look at that amazing pose. Feeling very balanced. Work, um, personal life. And you're feeling very good and stable for yourself. You could have earthing your chart person coming towards you could also be a fellow fire sign Sagittarius Aries Leo ready for a fiery passionate connection playful and feisty sexual and a lot of intimacy and the overall outcome it's like you both have been in your head about finding love when is it going to happen for both of you you possibly could be connecting within your dreams. I thought that was a hair, but it's just a mark on the card. Um, within your dreams. Possibly could even be dreaming about one another connecting on the 5D. Those type of connections, those soulmate connections, even if you've not even met the person in this lifetime yet, you could still be connecting with them the minute you close your eyes. 
coming into union. Look at that. This connection is coming into union and it's going to feel like a soulmate connection. Possibly could be four of wands. See how that light is starting to take over the moon, the stability, the happiness, the dancing throughout your home with one another. Completely in awe. death card so guys things that have ended in your life that were very devastating for you you've been through this transformation that's why you're in this yoga pose and very balanced right now for some of you you've been through a deep transformation this person coming towards you now that you've been through this tra transformation might be something completely different than you ever thought you would go for because it's those things that were very like ending for you that was very hard for you that caused this triggering transformation for some of you spiritual awakening and your person's been through some dark times also they might have dealt with connections where they did the most of the work it was very codependent maybe dealt with addiction maybe dealt with like someone who was like a runner in their life so it's no wonder if they, they want a brand new start for some of you oh look at this for and look at the bottom of the deck oh my gosh for some of you you could be receiving a message online somebody it could be like watching you from afar with social media with networking you could work online or have your own online business and this person lets you know that they're interested in you. But here's the sun. The happiness that's going to come with this connection. And at the bottom of the deck, the wheel of fortune in your favor. Karma in your favor. You see that? It's amazing. Reason for celebration. And there's the offer. Could be a younger earth sign. I have younger, I have younger earth in there. I have fire here. I have Taurus here. So it could be earth. It could be fire. I don't really have any air except the nine of um the nine of swords. But take it as it resonates, guys. And we'll see what that card is. Looking out onto the water, looking out daydreaming about what you want in your life when it comes to love, Sagittarius. And it's coming for you. Your ships are coming in. This person, like I said, it might be business related. You may work with this person. You may go into their place of employment. But somewhere business related, it's like you're being noticed for your confidence, for the way you come across, the way you present yourself. And there's somebody completely interested in what you're putting down. Yep, they want to be all over you. Look at this. All over you completely vulnerable, letting you see their most intimate parts. You may come together and very well never leave the bedroom for days. You can't get enough of one another. And there's the union. I'm definitely going to clarify the Hierophant because it is here twice. Both are going to have that healing energy for one another. Not feeling left out anymore. Not feeling like when is it going to be your time? You just feel like you don't, you don't, um, it's like you don't go, it's feeling like all these endless dates you've been on or these community, these connections you've been in, you get nothing out of it. And that's all changing for you. 
where people might have held back. See, you've done the work. Sagittarius, you've done the work, and now there's something coming to fruition for you. Brand new beginning. I love it. Brand new beginning with the world card. Cycles that have not worked for you in the past, close them out. That transformation happened, and now because of your confidence, there's love coming into your life. And someone's taking this leap of faith for, towards you. There's one completely, two flipped over. That I don't even know. Okay, look at those. The elephant, like I said, connecting within your dreams. But also, um, obstacles being removed. Right. Any burdens, any, like anything that got in your way from meeting, from meeting per, uh, someone that you felt a connection with that is now in the distance because of the balance, because of the work that you've done. No more delays. All right. And my phone keeps going off, so I would think that it might even be a text message. And they are coming right for you. You might be traveling and you run into this person. Some may travel for business and run into this person, meet this person as you're on vacation for some. But there's progress coming towards you finding true love. And it's going to be deeply committed. You see how there's three? They call them loins. See how there's three ducks here? You may have a child, that person coming towards you may, or you may come together and have a child, but it's a deeply committed connection. And like I said, there might be traveling involved, vacation, business trip. All right, let's see what else. Then I'm going to pull a, car, a card of timing, guys. I mean, a card of timing. Scrabble tiles. Start of the season. So, Northern Hemisphere, winter season. Um, Southern Hemisphere, winter, summer. Summer, hem I mean, Southern Hemisphere, summer season. Brand new beginning ignites. And there's the catalyst. Like I said, with this new moon, there's something that sparks in your life. Someone, like you catch someone's eye. They see how confident you are. They see the energy that's radiating off of you. And they're drawn to it. All right. All right, we have E, A, I, O, O, U, so we have every vowel already. L, T, T as in Tom, B, H, another I, another I, another E, M, R, J, D, another A, another E. Another H, blank, Scrabble tile, another O, S, Y, I see J, Joy, N, N, another A. So I see M, E, L, I, S, S, I found this on the web. S C on the web. See how my phone just came out. You're going to be receiving either message somewhere, social media, network marketing, something. I do feel like it's going to be online somehow for some of you. But I see Melissa. I see Jay. I see Joy. I see Eddie or Ed. I see Matt. Mm, Mike. 
Sam, that's my name. Um, but go ahead and pause it and really focus in. Let me see, what, you know, let me know what I'm missing. I see Nat for Natalie, Natalia. H E A T. I see Heather. Also go by, like, for nicknames. I see Bay, B A E. Nicknames are things that you might have called, you know, called one another, but these are also for the singles, too. So do, you know, pay attention to what they are because somebody that you may meet very soon, very near future, and their initials are right here. Or just remember to come back and check. All right, Sagittarius, have a great new moon in your sign and, you know, for your birthday. Hope you're all enjoying your birthday. I will be back for many more readings and stay safe.